2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you today's event. Today's coverage of the Sand Dune Classic is about to start. Delighted you're able to join us for this first round action. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth and down on the course, it's hello to John McCarthy. Hello Luke, great to be here. Lovely to be with you and Rich. I'm uh, pleased to be bringing you the action from down on the course. And let's see what he can do here today. Time for the second shot into the first. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. This one's for Birdie. They've made it. Off to a great start today. And always a good feeling to have early in the round. Currently one under for the day. Making birdie in the first always puts you in a good frame of mood. It'll be fun to watch the round progress. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honor on the hole. Mm -mm. A thing of beauty. Time for the second shot here on the second hole. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. A wonderful shot and a chance for Purdy here at the second. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. Four feet to the cup. And down it goes. So that's back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. He's currently tied for ninth. We have a par five on this one. Well, I like the look of the line here. This should find the fairway. Second shot here on the third. And here we are with the third shot. This putt is about 10 feet from the hole. This one's online. Fair effort, that. Good birdie. The 
He's currently tied for sixth. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Looks to be going with the fire vine. Well, I hope you pack the bucket and spade because you're heading to the sand. Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. One of the rare misses for this player today, Luke. They've been handling a lot of greens today. Oh, that was a beauty. Just a four-footer remaining. Don't want to miss it. Could be costly. And that's the kind of fighting spirit that keeps a good round going. Absolutely. In the bunker, off the tee. Getting that one. That is a Brucey bonus. Now three strokes back after that hole. Time to step on your tee shot here at this long par four. Not a bad line, this one. From about 130 yards here, three strokes off the lead. Game with the 9-iron, nine -nine, I think. Nice shot, that. That should find the surface. Yep, that shot safely on the green. And this putt to move into the top five on the leaderboard. Was on a good line. Just six feet between here and the hole. Oh, just missed. And this next putt, it's for bogey. And after this hole, that's how it looks. Trailing by five shots after that hole. I can understand you'd be disappointed by the bogey, but here's an opportunity to bounce back. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Second shot here on the sixth. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. A chance for the top 10 here if you can make this. Ooh. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Now five strokes behind. Deep into the front nine, here we are at the seventh hole. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent.
opting for the three wood. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Oh, a little shorty Baker on that action there. On the green now, but a bit of work left to do here. Oh, a lovely opportunity to save par here. This one's tracking. Oh, I love a player with big heart. You've showed plenty there. Good par save there from the greenside bunker. Job well done. Now four back after that hole. This hole is a long par four. Looks like they put a good pass on that one. Second shot here on the eighth. Going with the eight iron here. This one needs to kick left. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. Trying to get two, three under par with this putt. Go in. Oh, that's a fantastic attempt from that distance. Shame it didn't drop. Easy par, that. Trailing by four strokes. Quite often the hardest hole in golf, a long par four. That was absolutely murdered. Second shot here on the ninth hole. Any bounce to the left here would be helpful. Now yeah, that looked pretty good the whole way. All right, John, how's this putt looking? Well, guys, it's about 22 feet to go here. Just didn't drop. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. Now four back after that hole. We've reached the beginning of the back nine. The tee is yours at the 10th.
Oh, well done. This one from about 160 yards out. Currently four shots off the pace. Come on, look after us. Little bounce to the right here. And he's safely on the green with that shot. And John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. Well, this looks like about 28 feet. Oh, this looks pure. Well, what a lovely putt to make. And with that, he'll move to three under par. Well, that's worth reviewing. Let's roll the videotape. He's currently tied for 15th. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. Second shot here on the 11th. Going with the seven. Needs this one to kick right. They're not a bad shot, that one. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. This would be a good putt to hole. It would help move you into the top ten. Oh, that's frustrating. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. I like the look of this. That's well hold. Trailing by four strokes. Par threes are always fun. See if you can knock it close. A wonderful shot and a birdie opportunity coming up at the 12th. And this putt to move into the top 10. Mark it down, that's birdie number five. And he'll move into the top 10. He's in a share of ninth place. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. That should find the cut stuff.
Time for the second shot here at the 13th. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Well, at least it's on the green. That's the positive. A tie for fourth place if you can hold this putt. Right by the hole. What an opportunity to make a birdie. And that putt will give them birdie number six on the day. Kind of like it. Two in a row. He's currently in a share of sixth. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. All right, getting into our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the 14th. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. This shot coming from around the 150 yard marker. Three behind our leader. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Uh, that's going right. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. And this putt to move into a tie for fourth place. Ouch, that hurts. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. He's currently tied for seventh. As Bruce Springsteen once said, I'm going down, down, down. Not good. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. And after that part, they're looking for something good here. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Taking aim from about 220 yards out. Two strokes off the lead. Going with a three wood here. Well, that's big boy golf right there. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch.
Looking really good this one. Bit too heavy handed there. Come on, let's make this putt. It's for a sheer of fourth on the leaderboard. Okay, steady now. Par putt coming up here. The only good thing about three putting for par is you don't drop a shot. He's in a share of seventh place. Just a few holes to play. Let's see how you handle the 16th hole. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Yeah, not a bad effort, that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. John, have you got a read on this one? Well, guys, this looks like it's about 21 feet to the hole. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. Now four back after that hole. We have a short par four ahead of us here. Wow, Rich, that's impressive. That's exactly what I've done. Nobody wants to see somebody laying up on a par four that's drivable. Pull out the big stick. Oh, I like the look of this. That's outstanding. What a putt. I will take that also into the top five now. And let's have one more look at that shot. He's currently tied for second. Well, it's come down to this, the final hole. Welcome to the 18. An eagle on the last hole for this player. Let's see if they can't build on the momentum they've created. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. And choosing the eight iron here. Great looking shot, this. And hitting yet another green here in regulation. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. Putt is underway. 
gets that one to go down and that'll end the day's work. Well, that day is in the books, Rich, and this player seems to be going along quite nicely, don't you think? So far, so good, I must say, Luke. I've been impressed with how they played. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. I'm Luke Elvey, and on behalf of Rich Beam, plus all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's good night for now.